The Nigerian Senate has directed five of its committees to commence investigation into oil theft and its impact on petroleum production and oil revenues in the country. The committees which were given the mandate on the floor at Tuesday's plenary include petroleum upstream, downstream gas, Niger Delta and dead in charge of host communities. The resolution was reached after a debate on a motion sponsored by Senator Ned Woko and two others. In his lead debate, Senator Woko noted that in March 2023, Nigeria lost over 65.7 million barrels of crude oil, valued at $83 per barrel, translating to revenue loss of 2.3 trillion naira as a result of oil theft. Contributing to the debate, other lawmakers highlighted the need to address the issue of oil theft and its attendant consequences on the environment and the economy of the country. The motion is for urgent need to investigate the incessant and nefarious acts of crude oil thefts in the Niger Delta and the actors. In March 2023, Nigeria incurred a substantial loss of 65.7 million barrels of crude oil valued at $83 per barrel, translating to a staggering revenue loss of 2.3 trillion as a result of oil theft. What I would suggest is not for us to continue to lament or set up inquiries. My suggestion, Mr. President, is that given the seriousness of this situation, and I would dare say before the new government, its agent gets sucked into the tradition, this is the time to stop it motion in supporting this motion if you look at it there are a lot of salient points he made he said the bunkering started in 1970 we are in 2023 now which means that's 53 years ago up to now we've not been able to solve it he said 2.3 trillion he's been stolen every year that's a lot of money how much is even the budget of nigeria the biggest problem we have in this country, Mr. President, is punitive measure. All these things, there are a lot to it. A colleague of mine now was contributing. He even said at his backyard, he has been arresting people who are bunkering, <laughs> doing bunkering. At his backyard. But nothing has happened. There have not been any punitive measure. And the moment we continue like this, it will just be go day in, day out. It become a lucrative uh, business because nobody has been punished for it. In his remarks, President of the Senate, Godswill Akpabu, who also alluded to the issues raised by his colleagues, urged the investigative panel to come up with a lasting solution. ...and the actions of security forces, militia groups, the local populace, oil company employees, and any individual or entities suspected to be using sophisticated methods to pilfer our oil resources from the oil facilities within our country. Those in support of the prayer won't say aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.